What's up, guys? Gator with Self.Dev. So in Discord this week, we've been talking about if you need a mentor to become a front-end developer or should you get a mentor to help you become a front-end developer. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So first off, what even is a mentor? To me, a mentor is someone you can go to and just ask questions to or be like, hey, I'm stuck on X problem. Uh, what would you do in this situation? And then ideally, they don't straight they, they don't just give you the answer. They kind of nudge you in the right direction because if they straight up give you the answer, you don't generally learn as much from that. Um, versus if they nudge you in the right direction, you're gonna have to work a little bit harder in your brain. It's gonna get stuck in your brain more than if they just give you the right answer. That's probably just gonna come in one ear and out the other after you implement it and make it work. But yeah, mentors, usually just somebody you can go to, ask questions to, get advice from, stuff like that. Uh, now what I would not recommend is going, like messaging people, messaging YouTubers or admin and just like straight up being like, hey, will you be my mentor? I wanna become a dev. Uh, don't do that. That's weird. That puts a lot of pressure on whoever you're asking because then like if they say yes, um, you're kind of like expecting them to give you like a roadmap. It just to me, it feels like you're putting way more pressure on whoever you're asking to be your mentor. Uh, it doesn't like, you don't need an official statement of like, hey, will you be my, my mentor? And then them, them saying yes. If I did do that, I would probably like if somebody if I agreed to that, I'd probably charge money for that. But for the most part, you can just go hop in like my Discord server or like the r slash self.dev subreddit or just any programming Discord. And if you're running into a problem, just kind of like make sure you ask the question in the right way. Check out the how to ask good questions of the dev video I made. But as long as you ask your question in the right way, at least in my server, we're, ha we're happy to help you out and kind of look at your problem and be like, oh, it's probably this or check out line 57. Your error is right there. See if you can figure it out. And a lot of people are just like, a lot of devs are just happy to help you out, happy to help other people grow, help them solve problems. Cause that's what being a dev is like, basically. You're basically just a critical, like your job is to think critically and solve problems when you boil it down. And a lot of developers are nice, hang out in chat rooms and try to like give back and help other people. That's like one of the reasons I made this YouTube channel. Like I hated, I had a job I hated. Um, I figured out how to get out of it and become a developer. And now I'm trying to help other people get out of jobs that they hate and get into jobs that they like coding, ideally. So you don't need a black and white mentor mentee relationship. Um, you can just like go to the same server, ask questions, build relationships with the people in there. Um, and then they can, they're, they're like basically your mentors without you saying, hey, you're my mentor explicitly. I don't think like, I don't think I've ever had a mentor that I'm actually like, hey, will you be my mentor? Like that just, it seems weird to me. Now, if you wanted me to like, if you wanted to be like, hey, will you be my mentor? And you want me to hand you like a step-by-step -step plan on how to become, how to go from zero to web developer, I would charge for that. I'm actually working on a course. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, like the path to becoming a dev. I gotta work on the name, but if you wanna be notified when that comes out, look in the description. Um, I'll have a link you can go to to sign up to be notified when that comes out. But back to the mentor thing, you don't need like a black and white mentor to become a developer. You do probably need a path, like ideally you find either, like maybe one of my videos, like the path to become a dev in 2022, or somebody else's video on how to become a developer, like having a predefined path you can walk is going to help a lot versus just stumbling around in the dark with no light pointing you in the right direction. So that would definitely help. But once you have like the general direction that you're going, you don't need to pay somebody hundreds or thousands of dollars to just like be your mentor, basically. Now I'm saying you don't need to, you can, and that can probably speed up your learning curve, um, especially if they're teaching you like one-on-one, -on -one. like if they're getting on videos and like giving you lessons, like people in my Discord, like I've, I've been charged for this because I, I didn't charge when I was doing this because I had a lot more free time. If I did it now, I probably would charge for it because I don't have as much free time. But a lot of people in Discord, if they run into a problem, I'll just like, I'll say, hey, hop in the voice chat, share your screen. We can look at it together and kind of go over what's going wrong and solve it. And like, if you still want that, I mean, I'm sure there's still people in my, either, either my Discord or other Discords or Reddit or somewhere um, who are happy to like hop on a call, share your screen and like point out or walk you through what's going on. It's kind of like with free code camp, right? Like you get what you pay for, like for the quality of free code camp, um, for it being free, it's amazing quality. Like the projects, they don't look great though. Like, and that's kind of a big negative to me because when you're applying to jobs, you want to have good looking projects to impress whoever's looking at your project. Like ideally they just look at the code and be like, yeah, this is good code, but having a good UI is important. It makes a good first impression. It's kind of like if you go into a job interview with, um, you're wearing a suit versus if you go into a job interview, you're wearing like shorts and a t-shirt. 
the, whoever's wearing a shoot uh, suit is going to make a better first impression, and they are going to be like their baseline on like on the likability scale is going to be a lot higher than whoever has shorts and a t-shirt. And I mean, you can adjust that likability factor by how good you do in the interview, but it's better to have a higher set base point than a lower base point and have to like make up for the lost ground. Now, that's probably gonna be a shorter video. Uh, if you uh, learned stuff from it, if you think this helped out at all, give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel out a lot, helps me out a lot, and lets YouTube know I'm doing good stuff. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the great content I'm putting out. Uh, if you wanna come hop in the Discord or the Self Taught Dev subreddit, links for the, both of those are in the description. I think we're almost at 600 people in the r slash Self Taught Dev subreddit. So that's cool, it's growing fast. I think it was 200 or 100 when we took it over. Um, also, if you want to be notified when my path to become a dev, I don't, that's not the name. I'm going to change the name probably. Maybe not. I might keep it that. But if you want to be notified when that comes out, look in the description off a link to where you can go sign up for that so you can be notified when that course comes out, that path comes out. Um, and I think that's about it for this one. So I will see you guys next time. Peace. Oh.